It's really important to rotate your injection sites. It's one of the most important things about proper injection technique. Not rotating your injection sites can lead to a problem known as lipohypertrophy. There is an association that when people use the same site over and over and over again, they develop a buildup of fatty tissue under the skin at that site. And the problem with lipohypertrophy is that injecting into that area again, your insulin isn't absorbed the way that it should be. And that can lead to ups and downs in your blood sugars. Sometimes you can see it and other times you can't. So lipohypertrophy may be visible with the naked eye. And if it is, it probably means it's been around for a long time. Lipohypertrophy can also exist under the skin where you inject. And the only way to know that they're there might be to feel your injection sites and palpate the area where you inject. If you're not comfortable doing that yourself, you can ask your diabetes educator or your doctor to help you. There are four areas on your body where you can inject. Your abdomen, your thighs, outer parts of your arms, and your buttocks. Those are the best areas to inject because that's where you have the most subcutaneous fat or the most fat on your skin and injecting into the fatty layer of your skin is where insulin is most consistently absorbed. Proper site rotation means rotating between sites and within injection sites. And what that means is that perhaps today I might take this part of my abdomen, I might inject there for a week and I would rotate within that site making my next injection about one finger width from my last injection. And then the next week I would move to this injection site and then this one and then this one and moving out to my arms and my legs and my buttocks. A site rotation plan might look different for everyone. So what's most important is to find a way that you can access your injection sites to avoid injecting into the same spot over and over and over again. Like Diabetes Innovations on Facebook to learn more about insulin delivery, healthy living and to join a supportive, welcoming community.